Hello friends, my name is Rakesh Gupta and today I am going to discuss custom metadata loader. Before going ahead with the custom metadata loader and how to install it, let's see the today's agenda. So today we are going to discuss what is custom metadata types, what is a custom metadata loader, instruction to install custom metadata loader and the then demo. Custom metadata type is similar to a custom object. It allow application developer to create custom set of data as well as to create and associate custom data with an organization. All custom metadata type is available in the application cache. As a result, it allow efficient access to the data without the cost of repetitive SQL query. Custom metadata type has underscore MDT suffix at the end of the custom metadata type as opposed to the usual underscore underscore c for custom objects when you create a package custom metadata type customers who install the package can add their own record to the metadata type your reusable functionality read your custom metadata and uses it to produce customized application behavior so these are the theoretical parts of how someone can use it recently i have written a blog post about custom metadata types and process builder. You can find it on the, my blog that automationchampion.com part 69. <coughs> so here is one of the use cases that I found very interesting. When a new chatter post is created and is contain a keyword that is defined by organization, then auto create a cache for that chatter post. Now here is the simple requirement that you have to store the keyword. Either you can hard code in your Apex Trigger or Process Builder those 11 keywords, but it might be possible it change at the runtime. So currently we have the 11 keyword as I mentioned on the my blog post. Might be might be possible in the future we may have thousands, two thousand, or maybe hundred or two hundred keywords. Then how do you manage that? One option is use custom object. That is not a good idea because while you fetching the data from custom object, you have to write the SQL query and that count against governor limit. And that is not a best practice. So to avoid those, we can use custom metadata. So custom metadata is advanced version of custom settings. So where you can create object and then you can store those data like those keywords that I mentioned here. So it is very simple if you want to create a custom metadata type, switch to lightning, go to setup, platform tools, custom code, custom metadata and click on the new custom metadata type. It's similar to creating a custom object and enter your object name like here I'm using chatter keywords and object name and then click on the save. Once you save it you can see here this is Rakesh and we page nothing but name is space of my org chatter underscore keyword and it's MDT. So this is the identification of custom metadata. Now once you have custom metadata created you can click on the manage chatter keyword button as mentioned here then you can able to insert record for it like here i'm inserting few record i've inserted leave and record now <clears throat> if you have 10 or 20 record you can manually insert it but what about if your sales rep or your manager has given a csv file that contain 200 or 300 records at that time or thousands records thousand keywords in a csv file at that time it is not possible to manually create the thousand records and again it, you may say that okay rakesh we can create those thousand but it will take time so where we can use this custom metadata loader. custom metadata loader is a tool for creating or updating custom metadata record from a csv file it uses Salesforce metadata API to bulk load 200 record with a single call. So you can upload thousands record or more than that. This tool is created by Salesforce to better manage custom metadata. You can find the GitHub reference here and all credit goes to salesforce.com and their team. Now instruction to install. This is just instruction, verbal instruction that I'm going to read. First open GitHub. Download the package from the GitHub, and then you have to create a custom. You have to create a GIF file that contains this folder custom underscore MDD loader, and then you have to use Workbench to upload that GIF file into your developer org, or your sandbox, or production org, 
and once you upload this file it will create few classes a custom metadata object a tag from there where you can upload your csv file and permission sets the next step is to assign the custom permis custom metadata loader permission set to the user who is going to use this and next step is to add remote site setting because it uses the metadata apis to insert the data you have to use custom meta custom remote setting and once done you can create a csv file with your data and then use the tool to insert the record let me start with the demo so as i just said that to download this application you have to open this github url so let me copy this url and paste here so once you go uh, you have to select this and download zip file so once you have downloaded the zip file here and then you can see this zip folder here the custom metadata loader dot master we need this custom metadata loader file so we have to create a zip folder from this custom md folders so right click on it and then use custom compress it in the mac so once you compress it it will create a zip folder here you can see a custom md loader zip and the next step is go to workbench click on agree as i'm using developer org so i'm selecting the production login with the salesforce allow access if you are using first time and then click on the migrate and deploy click on the choose file go to the down select the gif file select the single package to avoid package xml not find there are some errors say that package xml not find so you have to select the single package as suggested by salesforce and click on the next and click on the deploy you can see that the status is pending so wait few second now you can see that the status is failed let me check what is the error okay so no package xml dot package dot xml font so if you search what why this is giving you an error just google it okay so open this url if you search no package dot xml font workbench open this okay and search here package not found okay search for package not sorry package dot xml so you can see here if you get a no package xml error form you do it in a in fact that package.xml deployment did try googling try toggling the single package option so while uploading the deploy and we already selected the single package here so if you try if you say it means salesforce say that okay while uploading a gif file you have to select the single dot package so let's try again and deploy again it's failed and the same error now this is mac specific error if you are using mac this is the mac specific error because when you get a file through mac it also added some additional file so what we have to do is we have to use terminal so open terminal here like command prompt in windows and then we have to go to the folder where we have stored this custom md loader so let me use cc cd dw and other downloads so we are in the download folder and then again i have to go to the custom md loader so cd custom oh, sorry what 
what is this we have to use this folder sorry so copy this folder cd this we are inside this now cd underscore custom custom underscore md so what i'm trying to do is just navigating from download to this custom m underscore md underscore loader folder so now i'm inside this if you are using mac so you have to type this command zip underscore r underscore x and your folder name and if any gif folder name you can give so if you want to use custom underscore md underscore loader for your gif file that's good no worries and star enter and if you go inside a gif file that's created here that's it now again go to the migrate deploy select this choose a file that is file we have here in this next deploy and it's currently in progress and it will take few seconds or maybe one minute or two minutes to deploy this package into your dev or sandbox or production org now you can see it's a success package uploaded successfully with no error now what you have to do you have to log in go into salesforce okay now go to your user record assign a permission set custom metadata loader to yourself or any user that is going to use it now we have to add remote site settings so first click on this select custom metadata loader tab that is created by salesforce and one more thing here if you notice salesforce has created a custom metadata object for you custom metadata types so this package also created a custom metadata type or less <laughs> country mapping and here you can see it's underscore mdt so just click on this to create remote site setting the remote site setting has been created if you go to setup here and type a remote site setting a remote site setting is created by salesforce this that's it now the next step is in the similar fashion what you are using for the data loader use the label this is the field name use the exact field name of this custom metadata type so use api name country underscore code so just put your country underscore code and name name here and save this file and this is the sample file that we have downloaded through that gif folder from github and how to use it now go to here create a custom metadata from csv file select file that is a download and here and select the file the object where you want to upload this is the country mapping so that's it for the demo let me jump back to the slide Uh, if you enjoy the video can valuable insight and would you like to achieve mastery in salesforce then consider signing up for my online salesforce training i'm offering salesforce training for ad administrator advanced administrators sales cloud consultant service cloud consultant platform dev one and visual workflow as well as pardot if you need more information, visit my website automationchampion.com or shoot out an email to me at info at the rate of automationchampion.com. Thank you for watching the video. I look forward to receiving your constructive feedback.